Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're going to talk about Grand Power handguns. Now, I love Grand Power handguns and those who own them will tell you they are amazing handguns. They're just not very popular and I think the reason for that is because you don't see them at your local gun store too often. They pretty much have to order them online and you know they're made in Slovakia. I'm sure there are importation issues that, that take place but the Strebog became very popular. I think that brought grand power a little bit more on the map but here's the q100 and this is a compact size gun that i i think is amazing it has 15 round magazines 4.3 inch barrel front serrations a accessory rail and a trigger that breaks right at four pounds with a reset right there it does have a striker fire indicator right there that goes away once the slide has not been charged ambidextrous mag release and slide stop it's a it's a great gun i i think it's amazing and you know i mentioned other people who own them you, you look at some reviews out there people that own grand power handguns they speak very highly of them but not many people know about them so i, I consider it some of the best guns that nobody knows about let's go ahead and take a few shots with this q100 Ah, little hang up there, failure to eject, let's see, rabbit, and that's it. Really don't see that too often, <laughs> it doesn't help the purpose for my video, but I'm going to keep it in there because that's what happened. That was Wolf 115 grain steel case, but nonetheless, love the gun. And I'm a huge Grand Power fan, and I think that the smooth shooting and the accuracy that it delivers is great. So I've got another one that I like even more than this, and it's called the Excalibur. It's a competition gun with a 5-inch barrel, but wait till you check this out if you haven't seen it already. And you'll also notice that many people, it's like their flagship handgun, you know, the Excalibur. And many people who own them will compete with them and say they're not going to go in any other direction than the Excalibur because it really is amazing. Let me bring that out. Q100 S&B 115 grain brass. Here we have the Grand Power Excalibur full size handgun with a five inch barrel, same 15 round magazines, but it's a fluted barrel. You can see that it does have slide cuts there to lighten it up a bit fiber optic front sight adjustable rear sight i think they're making these optic ready now the polymer frame very similar to the q100 actually many of the grand powers share the same type of frame anyways ambidextrous magazine release uh, ambidextrous thumb safety and slide stop very left-handed friendly and the trigger is incredible the single action trigger pull three and a half pounds and right there for the reset same rotating barrel and i i think it's amazing i i love this gun i always have since the day that i've i got it and i remember it was selling for over 900 dollars at one point and uh you know considering a competition type of gun that's not too bad but they dropped in price to right around the mid 700s and people were buying them up let's take a few shots here and another little hang up failure to eject i'm not sure if that is the ammo or the gun We'll go ahead and take a few more shots. Let me go with that seven incher. All right. Well, I do believe this is the first time that I ran Wolf steel case through it, but that's okay. It happened with both of the Grand Powers, and here I am telling you how great they are. And I stand by that, by the way, because I do. I think they're, I think they're amazing. Now, um, prior to today, I have not had any, any issues with either of my Grand Power handguns. 
SMB 115 grain brass case. Very light trigger pulls, excellent ergos to it. Very nice feeling and shooting handgun. I hope I demonstrated that well. I still consider Grand Power some of the best guns that nobody has heard of. And I'm very fond of this Excalibur. I love the Q100. Both uh, amazing guns, double action, single action, striker fire with the Q100. I feel like I have a good understanding of the Grand Powers. And I really do think if you get the opportunity that you should check them out. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.